entrance is number 82. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her King. Let every heart prepare Him room. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and nature sing. And heaven and heaven and nature sing. Joy to the world. Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. We gather on this day, mindful that salvation has come to us, mindful too of the times we have sinned, and so prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Christ Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Jesus, you are the Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who crowned with the gift of true faith, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton's burning zeal to find you, grant by her intercession and example that we may always seek you with diligent love and find you in daily service with sincere faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Children, let no one deceive you. The person who acts in righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. Whoever sins belongs to the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. Indeed, the Son of God was revealed to destroy the works of the devil. No one who is begotten by God commits sin because God's seed remains in him. He cannot sin because he is begotten by God. In this way, the children of God and the children of the devil are made plain. No one who fails to act in righteousness belongs to God, nor anyone who does not love his brother. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All, All the ends, ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song. For
for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Let the sea and all that fills it resound, the world and those who dwell in it. Let the rivers clap their hands, the mountains shout with them for joy before the Lord. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord comes, he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with equity. All the hands of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. In the past, God spoke to our ancestors through the prophets. In these last days, he has spoken to us through the Son. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. John was standing with two of his disciples, and as he watched Jesus walk by, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard what he said and followed Jesus. Jesus turned and saw them following him and said to them, What are you looking for? They said to him, Rabbi, which translated means teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come, and you will see. So they went and saw where he was staying, and they stayed with him that day. It was about four in the afternoon. Andrew, the brother of Simon Peter, was one of the two who heard John and followed Jesus. He first found his own brother Simon and told him, We have found the Messiah, which is translated Christ. Then he brought him to Jesus. Jesus looked at him and said, You are Simon, the son of John. You will be called Cephas, which is translated Peter. The Gospel of the Lord. Being inquisitive can lead to some surprise. And so certainly those two disciples were inquisitive and they were surprised. They were invited. Come, see. Come join me. I think about that and I think about the life of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, born and raised as an Episcopalian, later converted to Catholicism, uh, when at the time that she was widowed. And as we know, has, was be, had become the first saint of the United States. She came and she saw, and she was joined to him in a different way. What intrigued her about the church was certainly the devotion to Mary. It was also the fact that she recognized the church upheld that it dated back to apostolic times, but most importantly was her devotion to the Eucharist. That's what drew her. That's what she came and saw. You and I are, are privileged. We can come and we can see that all the time. We're always invited. We hear his voice. He beckons us. And so we do that. But there's another thing once we do that. He lays claim to us. And that's evidenced in the gospel as well. 
Peter is introduced to him, that's Simon son of Jonah, and given a new name. To name something is to claim it, is to own it. He's given a new name, Cephas, Peter, who now belongs to Christ. You and I were named in baptism, and day in and day out when we gather for Eucharist, we're named and claimed once again. So, he, the invitation, come and see, he invites, remember that you are claimed, claimed for Christ, but also be vessels of inviting, inviting others to, to come and see, so that Christ may lay claim to them as well. Let us together join our voices in prayer this day and always. For all of us in the church, may the Lord bless us and purify our hearts for the coming of the fullness of the kingdom. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may the Lord help them be men and women of righteousness attentive to the people they are called to serve, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those suffering from physical or mental illness, may the healing presence of the Lord be upon them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our sick and suffering, especially John Charterino, Bob Christian, Mary Damacone, Danny Fur, Mike Fur, Daisha Ferdney, Jeffrey Grismer, Julianne Jenkins, Dan Lane, Tom and Candy Lorkowski, Sister Marcia Madigan, Becky Mishler, Agnes Moran, Dora Kotroki, Maggie Wright, Brooke Russell, Carol Staley, Katrina Shunk, Paula Simmons, John Van Dutton, Bob Wakeman, Lou Wells, Clara Whitus, Bishop Woost, and for the victims and survivors of abuse in our church and beyond, for accountability, justice, and healing throughout our church, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For each of us here, May the Holy Spirit empower us in our commitment to discipleship, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, for those who have recently died, Pope Emeritus Benedict XVI, and for Armando Colella, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they rest and rejoice in the glory of our Heavenly Father's house, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions that remain deep in the silence of our hearts and minds, for those written in our prayer notes book, and for those we have been asked to pray for through our Renewal Recommitment Initiative. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Ever faithful God, hear us as we turn to you in our need. We pray this and all things in the name of your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord is the sacrifice O Lord, we ask that you look graciously upon our gifts placed on your altar in celebration of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, and grant by the power at work in this sacrifice that we may be more deeply inserted into the mystery of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. So that in serving you alone, the Creator, he might have dominion over all creatures. And when through disobedience he had lost your friendship, you did not abandon him to the domain of death. For you came in mercy to the aid of all, so that those who seek might find you. Time and again you offered them covenants, and through the prophets taught them to look forward to salvation. And you so loved the world, Father most holy, that in the fullness of time you sent your only begotten Son to be our Savior, made incarnate by the Holy Spirit, and born of the Virgin Mary. He shared our human nature in all things but sin. To the poor he proclaimed the good news of salvation, 
to prisoners' freedom, and to the sorrowful of heart of joy. To accomplish your plan, he gave himself up to death. Rising from the dead, he destroyed death and restored life. And that we might live no longer for ourselves, but for him who died and rose again for us. He sent the Holy Spirit from you, Father, as the first fruits for those who believe, so that bringing to perfection his work in the world, he might sanctify creation to the full. Therefore, O Lord, we pray, may this same Holy Spirit graciously sanctify these offerings, that they may become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, for the celebration of this great mystery, which he himself left us as an eternal covenant. For when the hour had come for him to be glorified by you, Father most holy, having loved his own who were in the world, he loved them to the end. And while they were at supper, he took bread, blessed and broken, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, taking the chalice filled with the fruit of the vine, he gave thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we now celebrate the memorial of our redemption, we remember Christ's death and his descent to the realm of the dead. We proclaim his resurrection and his ascension to your right hand. And as we await his coming in glory, we offer you his body and blood, the sacrifice acceptable to you, which brings salvation to the whole world. Look, O Lord, upon the sacrifice which you yourself have provided for your church, and grant in your loving kindness to all who partake of this one bread and one chalice, that gathered into one body by the Holy Spirit, they may truly become a living sacrifice in Christ, to the praise of your glory. Therefore, Lord, remember now all for whom we offer this sacrifice, especially your servant Francis, our Pope, Edward, our Bishop, and the whole order of bishops, all the clergy, those who take part in this offering, those gathered here before you, your entire people, and all who seek you with a sincere heart. Remember also those who have died in the peace of your Christ, and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. To all of us, your children, grant, O merciful Father, that we may enter into a heavenly inheritance with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, and with your apostles and saints in your kingdom, there with the whole of creation, free from the corruption of sin and death. May we glorify you through Christ our Lord, to whom you bestow on the world all that is good.
the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I am the living bread from heaven, says the Lord. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. The bread I shall give is my flesh for the life of the world. Our communion chant is number nine eight. It came upon the midnight.
Let us pray. As we partake of the sacrament of our salvation, while recalling the memory of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that we may be inflamed with a burning desire for the heavenly table, and by its power consecrate our life faithfully to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder, this evening at 7 p.m., we will celebrate a memorial mass for the late Pope.
Emeritus Benedict XVI. Y'all are invited to spread the word. Um, and as we do that and anticipate that, join with me as we continue to pray for the repose of his soul as we pray, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go announce the gospel of the Lord. Our closing is number 82, verse 3. He rules the world.